The mountains are calling. Could Demi Vollering take back some time on Kasia Nuviadoma or the other way around? Could the yellow jersey take more before the huge mountain stage tomorrow? This was a warm-up, an appetizer, let's say, near Lake Geneva from Champagnol to Le Grand Bonnard. It finishes with two climbs separated by about a five-minute recovery period. Not very steep, about 5%. So making a big difference would be difficult for either Nuviadoma or Vollering, who seems to be recovered well from her crash breakaway went with uh Hikira, who has a teammate van der velde for ag insurance sudal pacing voss was in there to take some free intermediate sprint points to mathematically wrap up that competition the peloton was pretty nonplussed whilst Hakira also was able to take uncontested qom points to extend her lead in that classification so they got about a 520 gap as the maximum van der velde yeah she did a terrific job pulling that break and was one of the reasons why it went so deep into the stage. Eventually, an assortment of teams began to pull Canyon Shram with Skalniak Soika, as well as Lorena Vibas, actually, later. We see Misha Bredevold speaking to Demi Vollering, probably wondering how she's feeling, what the plan is for the stage, and indeed, we do see Vibas pulling, and that gap goes sub four minutes uh, pretty shortly before the final 15K kick up to the line starts. Daigat's been fantastic, by the way, as a domestique this race. She's been unbelievably good. Maybe didn't get the results she wanted in the TT, but really sacrificed a lot and, and put it in for the team and for Nivea Doma's GC. Here the climb starts. It's 5Ks, 5%, as I said, and then they have that rest period. And it's FDJ, just like yesterday, wanting to make the race difficult with Leah Curinier on the uphill, whilst Kakira says, thanks, Van der Velde, thanks, Voss, thanks, everybody. I've got to do this dance on my own because Grace Brown is pulling and the gap is 240. It goes as low as 230 when FTJ were pulling. The two big guns obviously not going to be phased by this heavy pace, but now the stage win could be back in play for the peloton. Big riders like Faulkner, who was second or third on GC, has dropped, but Brown's the last domestique for Muzic. That first climb's finishing, we got it leveling off, and then we got the next climb, 7K is 5%. Who's even going to pull? There's no shabby for Nivedoma, and Vollering attacks at the base, not even at the base, sorry. She attacks in this, like, plateau area whilst Brown was pulling, and then Fisher Black gives them the old one-two with Riolini in the wheel. So SD Works, they had the numbers on Nuvi Doma trying to put her under pressure. The problem is, and I like the strategy, I really do, because Nuvi Doma was panicking a bit. The problem was they're not on a climb. And so Fisher Black's attacking on the flat section. Here the climb starts, and she's just done a huge effort before it's really started to go uphill, Squibon on Arkea Samzik attacks as the pace slows. She gets 33 seconds as the peloton completely stalls. So I, I like the one-two idea, but maybe went a bit early. Brand starts to pace to keep things under control. But Hakira, it's all of a sudden looking really good for her. The gap's at 2.16 when Fisher Black goes again with only about four, three and a half Ks of climbing left because this really levels off in the last K, the talented... Belgian rider and Muzic throws in the dig. Maybe she was hoping Brown could have paced longer. She finally attacks. Kerbal responds. Peters from the wheel. Fisher Black is dropped. We've not really seen a response for Nubia Doma or a counter attack or another move from Vollering, but we know something is brewing. But then they stop again. Gaps at two minutes, and now we know that the breakaway win for Hakira is pretty much secured. And who's going to do something? And the obvious candidate is Paulina Royak. She's on 108 on GC. Peters is ahead of her on GC, and she can attack and put the isolated Nuvia Doma under pressure, or indeed just take more time herself in advance of tomorrow. And that's exactly what she does. Well, she does attack. But taking time wouldn't be possible as Nivea Doma accelerates. Peters are looking a bit ragged. The crack's starting to show compared to the punchier stages. And Vollering, when Nivea Doma pulls off, says, let me try something through the inside of this hairpin. But you can see the speeds on the bottom right. 25, 27, 28 kilometers an hour, even on 7%. And it wasn't consistent 7%. It just was not steep enough for the, the big guns to make a difference. And, and Volering's looking back to see Nivea Doma in the wheel. But Royak is still a little bit up the road. Nivea Doma then keeps pacing. But we could see Labu was gapped. She was having to make her way back. Giganti very strong today, actually, on the uphill. Riolini there. But Peterser hanging on, but would be gapped at the finish. But Hakira, she got in the back. 
1 minute 30. She went in the breakaway originally to take QOM points, probably didn't think it was possible to win from the breakaway, and she got those QOM points and more with the peloton stalling to the point where Lucinda Brand could return. Nivia Doma throws in a big dig. This isn't to bring back Squibon, by the way, the Arkea rider who's still up the road. This isn't to bring back Akira. This is trying to distance Vollering before the stage tomorrow. She's talking to Vollering, maybe trying to tell her to pull but Hakira wins the stage a minute 25 ahead of the big GC riders. Vollering gets out of the saddle and actually says, why would I pull? You're in the yellow jersey, but Nuvi Doma didn't need to pull either. She could have let the rest of the GC riders come back, and Scoobon's taken the six bonus seconds, and when it cuts back, we see that Nuvi Doma has basically attacked Vollering and then got countered. Vollering putting her on a little bit of a gap, doesn't get credited with the second, but a big mental blow before tomorrow. Hakira cannot believe she's won the stage, but what a warm-up for tomorrow. Hakira winning ahead of Scoobon, then Vollering, Nuvi Doma, same time, Muzic, De Jong, Peter Silabu, Royak, as Riolini. Here is what the AG insurance rider had to say after the stage. Justine, congratulations. You were not supposed to be on that tour. You were most combative in Liège, and today you're stage winner with the Polka Dot jersey. <laughs> How crazy is that? I really have no words. It's, it's really... I think I'm dreaming, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, I really want to thank my team today. Uh, the whole team in the front, uh, in the beginning was really in the front and protect uh, me good and um, uh, to get me also in the breakaway. And then especially a really, really big thanks to Julie. She, she rode a really strong race. Um, she did everything for me uh, to get me in the best position to start this climb and uh, to save as much as possible energy. And uh, yeah, this victory is also really a part for Julie. This morning you told me I will try my best to be in the breakaway to defend it, Jesse. When did you start thinking to the stage win? Um, when I uh, took the last points, uh, then uh, I was I was really dead, and I thought, yeah, I just go my own pace, and uh, yeah, I could stay away, and uh, I, I, I I can't believe it. I, I really can't believe it. <laughs> But tomorrow your team promised you a new bike with some polka dots. You will be super proud to ride with that tomorrow. Yeah, uh, that, that will be a, a big prison also uh, to ride the bike with, uh, with the polka. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really uh, looking forward to, to ride the last stage of this tour uh, in this uh, skin suit. And uh, yeah, with the, the, with the win already, it's, it's, it's just a dream. GC all to play for tomorrow. We would have taken this situation going into the final stage, even after the TT. I was like, this is a wrap. But with Vollering having to make up a minute 15 on Cachanuvia Doma, we are going to see fireworks on the Glandon and the Up the West stage tomorrow. It's going to be a cracker. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you with the recap of that tomorrow afternoon. Ciao.